What's going on guys? Crypt here. Well, it's been a while. Don't worry. I didn't die in a hurricane. Just half my equipment did. That's uh, a tale for another time. Moving on. We've got some tank superiority on uh, Armored Shield. Now, this Armored Kill DLC. Who, who killed it? Who made it go away? Because there's like two rush servers on Xbox that are usually live. And the rest are like, I don't know, 900 some of them are just inactive. But anyway, moving on. This is Tank Superiority. Finally got a lobby that had a mix of Conquest and Tank Superiority. And I was uh, trying to do the right thing. A normal thing, I should say, for this. Get in a vehicle, run around, shoot things. The problem was, uh, the enemy team was uh, wanting to win. They were coordinated. There were two or three guys on either flank. If they saw a threat like me trying to flank them, they responded quickly. And these guys were uh, very focused and they wanted to win. Uh, my team was full of snipers couple guys that were trying but I had uh, snipers on my team that would take uh, a vehicle from the spawn and then go run out in the middle of nowhere leave the vehicle empty and just go sit up on a rock somewhere if you're gonna snipe I don't care that's fine but put a so flame up on this kind of game type you, you know help your team out a little bit I did have one squad mate who was sniping he had a did this smart thing he put a beacon up in these rocks as you see me trying to uh, change my tactics here you try to use a spawn beacon to drop in and shoot these guys with a javelin, but see, that didn't work. And I'll try it again. Uh, didn't work out too well at all. About halfway through this game, I resolved myself to the fact that I was probably not going to win due to the fact that my team was just confident and uh, sitting back and, and just basically trying to snipe these guys with vehicles or sniper rifles. And you can see there, I just left that in for giggles. But the, the other team had some snipers too. Um, I don't know why people come to this kind of game type of snipe. Uh, it can be effective if you're taking out repair teams, but uh, these guys weren't always uh, repairing vehicles because nobody could shoot them. As I said, they were focused. They had smoke. They were using zoom optics, most of them. And they were just popping shots and falling back behind rocks. And So I decided, the hell, I'm going to run around like a madman with C4. Now, if I had thought this out a little bit further... I would probably, you know, try to drag somebody else, one of my friends in this game, and have them be a sniper and put a beacon somewhere close. Maybe switch classes and just we can just like, close airdrop C4 on people's heads all day. Uh, that was my intent. Of course, it didn't work out because the guy they did have a spawn beacon up, pretty damn far away. And second thought, I also would have put sprint on, because you'll see I chase down vehicles quite a while, and sometimes they're dead by javelins before I get there. Which is rare because usually the guys are just popping smoke before javelins get impacted. At least that was my experience when I tried it. Um, this became really fun. <laughs> I resolved myself. I turned my attitude around. Not the whole, we're going to lose by a lot and get our asses kicked. We're going to win. And I'm going to PTFO, or as us old school guys call it, winning. Uh, we're going to do that by me running around like a madman. And... When I said these guys were focused, they really were. Anything in front of them, they shot. If you came from a flank, man, you got them. If it wasn't some big piece of metal like a tank or something like that they could spot, now you had a good chance. Oh, this is a fail. Don't watch this part. This is not me failing at all. I tried to use the smoke to my advantage in this case. Uh, didn't work out. I made a 60-ton tank with all kinds of weapons run away from me, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, running back, I just tried to put some C4 down. Hopefully, he would run over it. Uh, I mistimed his shot. He had reloaded and fired on my C4 before. Yeah. Boom. Anyway. But these guys are focused. If I figure out if I can get on a flank of these guys, and I can just ruin their day. Uh, make them think and make them adapt. Uh, or not adapt and me kill them, which is fine with me either way. I just wanted them to shake them, to shake them out of their little uh, comfort zones of sniping every teammate I had. Uh, my sniper guy... I don't think he moves that much. Towards the end, he actually does uh, place his beacon in a different spot, I think. But uh, basically, this was just me running around trying to see for shit. Mainly because uh, I would probably have played this in the standard, you know, tank superiority. Out shooting people, blasting them in the face with tank rounds. But the problem is, this game's been out for a year, and there's just not many people playing. A lot of people are playing uh, Halo and... Assassin's Creed, Medal of Honor, which is fun. But apparently the guys that are still playing this, at least on the other team, were really oblivious, because you'll see here, 
Watch the left hand side. Worst teammate ever. That dude watched me plant C4 and blow it. Plant C4 again. And blow it. He died in the explosion. I didn't take any damage at all in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, nobody shot me. Yeah. Worst teammate ever. But the same, Battlefield's been out for a year now. Uh, a lot of guys, it tends to be my case, that guys that are on my team don't care about stats. So if they have any kind of uh, adversity, like if they can't go spawn trap immediately, they're like, oh, well, I'll snipe. And that's not working out for them. Oh, well, I'll quit. Because stats don't matter. And usually when that happens to me, the other team is like, you know, six, seven deep from some platoon or clan or whatever, and they want to spawn trap instantly, and they want to win. Usually, you know, like a year ago, maybe you had good balance. But now it's like, hey, half my team wants to quit. Or if they can't spawn trap, or if the enemy can't spawn trap me, like if uh, me and Dutch are playing, uh, we can pretty much cause a distraction to flip a spawn trap. And usually the enemy team, if they're getting spawn trapped, or if they're being, they're spawn trapping, let's get this straight now, there's a lot of spawn trapping going on, follow me on this. If they're spawn trapping us, new players join the game and break the spawn trap, the enemy team that was initially doing the spawn trapping will quit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm doing the math. That sounds right. The problem is, people don't want to stick around and handle it like adversity. You know, the game's been out for a year, like I said. Everybody just wants easy wins. And nobody cares about stats. You know, it's fun to win the game. Not really that fun if you got to slog it out, like on Metro and huge battle. Usually everybody wants to join, like, thousand ticket Metro servers. And switch teams if you're losing. Or, for some reason, people are still uh, team stacking if they have their own server. You figure, you know, how long has that been out? The old uh, run a server thing, six months? If you really have the that mentality about winning that much, you have to team stack the entire fucking time. I don't know what's wrong with you. But, getting back to the basis, the base idea of this whole entire commentary. The game's been out for a year. Sometimes, playing with the assault kit on Metro is a little too boring, because it's been done to death. So, why don't you try something different? I challenge you guys, because you guys have PVRs. I want you guys to play tank superiority, run around with C4 only, and win. A couple times in this game, I capped a flag. I think a couple times I did solo. I had to cut this game down quite a bit because it was like 26 minutes. So if you're playing this game mode and you're taking this challenge, understand it's going to be a long ass time you're playing. You got to commit to it. But that's my challenge, you guys. I want proof. Give me battle log links. Give me a video. Give me something. I want you guys to enjoy Battlefield again because we paid for it. Some of us paid for premium, so we're into this, you know, 110 bucks Americano. So, the game's still, still not dead yet. New DLC's coming out. Run around with C4 or be untraditional. Be unorthodox. 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 There we go. Run around, do something stupid. Like run around on quad bikes and RPG choppers from the back seat. I've done that already. Beat me. Get on my level. <laughs> I swear I don't drink that much. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for support. Thanks for sticking around, guys. It means a lot to us. I look forward to some more Battlefield vids, uh, challenge videos, between me and Dutch, uh, alternating challenges. Uh, God knows he's going to come up with. Usually it's some kind of weird thing. Um, but we'll see. Later, guys.